Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Nude Glow. I'll be showing you application. I've got three different shades, so I'll show you swatches, how it looks in natural light, how it looks in flash photo because there's an SPF 40 in there, and of course how it looks at the end of the day. There'll be timestamps down below if you want to skip ahead because I've been told I talk too much. But if you enjoy this type of video, be sure to subscribe, but let's go ahead and get started. If you're not familiar with this product, uh, it's one of the many iterations of the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, which I've actually never reviewed. I've always had such a hard time trying to figure out what my shade is in IT Cosmetics. That's kind of what stopped me from trying a lot of their complexion products. Let me know if you are similar skin tone to me and you felt the same way. I felt like a lot of their products looked so neutral and gray on my skin. Um, and then I saw this in store, I picked it up, and then they've since sent me some, sh some shades as well. Uh, but this comes with 1.08 fluid ounces in here, just above the average size uh, of a foundation retails for $44 Canadian or sorry sorry I wish $44 American $55 Canadian uh, and basically it's kind of a do-it-all like I say color correcting medium coverage skin tint brightening glow serum with broad spectrum SPF 40 which that's an amazing SPF I mean I wear my own SPF generally on the day-to-day -day, but love to see it in the product so let me go ahead and swatch it on my face so here are the three shades. Neutral Tan is what I had initially picked up for myself. Uh, this was early summer before I had much color in my skin. Uh, then uh, I have a tan right here. And then the last shade here is Tan Warm, which I've kind of decided is the best shade for me right now. I'm gonna start with about a pump and a half. You get a decent amount of product and a little goes a long way, especially calling itself a tint. It's definitely a, a pretty strong medium coverage. And I'm gonna use my Refi brush today, but I have used a sponge with this and liked it. Uh, and as I mentioned, I will be using the shade Tan Warm. It says it's medium coverage, SPF, niacinamide in there, uh, hyaluronic acid, best for dry combo normal skin. And it says it has a radiant finish. Um, it gives immediate, healthy, visibly um, more glowy skin along with brightening over time. So again, very common to have sort of this hybrid skincare foundation thing which to me like I'm not mad about skincare being in my foundation but it's not going to draw me to it either because you know I'll get my skincare from skincare but I like that pe that brands are making makeup with skin in mind you know we like that uh, it says it has the niacinamide to help visibly brighten smooth texture reduce the look of spots and large pores hyaluronic acid immediately visibly plumps and hydrates skin which is best if it's going on damp skin that's where you get the most out of hyaluronic acid so you can use a mist i use the milk um, primer today uh, and green tea extract which said says it protects against environmental aggressors for healthier looking skin I don't think I need to tell you, but I really do love the way that this looks. I think it gives such, look at that gorgeous natural glow that my skin has. I think I could totally wear this on its own without any more, you know, concealer. I'm gonna do kind of a light face of makeup today anyways, but I think it looks so gorgeous on its own. Uh, and the coverage is really nice too. I did use a stippling brush, so a sponge will give you different coverage. A more dense brush will give you good different coverage. And you can build it up a little bit more, but I always prefer to use less foundation and go in and kind of spot conceal as I need to. So I'm gonna go ahead now and take my flash photos. Let's see how this SPF 40 holds up. I will put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all of my makeup on now, which will all be listed in the description box below if you're curious what else is on my face. I did just film some Instagram reels too, so you can always find uh, more reviews there at Samantha Jane White T on YouTube and on TikTok. But anyways, I think that this looks phenomenal. I've been wearing this quite a bit lately and really, really enjoying it. Um, but what I haven't done is taken flash photos. So this is what I was really, really curious uh, to kind of see how it held up. So here in my, in my lighting here in my studio, I think it looks really gorgeous. You can see that natural glow on my skin. You can see that it really does look like almost a second skin in that I don't need to wear a full face of makeup with it. I could easily just wear that, uh, which is nice because it gives you coverage. It gives you some skincare. It gives you SPF in there. So that's, that's great. But in flash photo, I thought it performed really, really well. I didn't have any major flashback, maybe a little bit, but I mean, I am standing in my bathroom in the dark, taking a photo like this far away from my face with flash. It's never gonna be flattering. They're my least favorite photos of myself in the world. <laughs> the actual foundation itself did a really great job partially i think because i don't have a ton on my face if your natural skin is showing through it's less likely that you know the camera is going to grab less of that whatever it is titanium dioxide or zinc whatever it is in the sunscreen that's flashing back that strong white pigment is not going to be all over your face if you have less of the foundation on um so that's always something to keep in mind and you know moving forward if you're going to be taking flash photos with this product you might want to do a, a test on your own especially considering now that i have a bunch of other things on my face that will all factor into flash 
swash as well. But overall, I think it looks really, really gorgeous. Um, so stay tuned. I will check back with you in some natural light. Hello, here to do my midday check-in in some natural light. It's a pretty dreary day out there, but uh, things look really good. It feels really comfortable on my skin. I've had a pretty low activity day. I'm not really doing much. I'm just sort of editing and things like that, but it's not feeling oily or greasy. My skin isn't as oily as it once was. I'm definitely more on the kind of combo side, sort of depends on the day, but it hasn't oxidized. It doesn't feel like it's moving around. Things still look good and natural I've got a nice sort of natural glow as well it's not like greasy looking or anything like that um, and blush and, and whatnot have stayed in place too so really really enjoying how it looks um, and I will continue to wear it I'm actually uh, also binge watching love is blind season three which just came out uh, and we're gonna be talking about it on my podcast if you're not uh, following my podcast you can find it here on YouTube pretty bond podcast Spotify Apple etc uh, and TikTok as well if you want to kind of like watch it with me live ish I'm sort of reacting to it on TikTok because I love doing that and I want to do it more and it's a great excuse because I can be like it's for work <laughs> but anyways I will check back with you in a couple of hours so it is kind of the end of the day. I'm actually gonna continue wearing this makeup. I'm headed to a Raptors game tonight, super fun. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of touch up this makeup and go, but I don't think I'll do a check-in when I get home. I might film something, perhaps, um, but I'm about to start drinking some wine, okay? So I don't know what's gonna happen. But <laughs> drink responsibly. I think that this foundation looks beautiful. I've been wearing this for the past couple of weeks and really, really loving it. I love the natural uh, glow that it gives into the skin. I love how long it lasts, and I didn't even use a setting spray today, and I think it turned out phenomenal. I, I generally do and it you know I can probably get even better and more wear but looks good without it uh, really comfortable on the skin if you have a really oily skin type I wouldn't say that this is like a really greasy emollient foundation but perhaps you may want to test out the other ones first but I don't find it to be super oily so you may just want to do some like uh, more oil controlling primer underneath but I do feel like the majority of skin types would really like this um, especially depending on how you prep your skin I really absolutely recommend this I can't compare it to the other it cosmetic CC creams but I can tell you that this one is my favorite if that's helpful at all um, and be sure to weigh in down below if you have tried this or with any of the other formulas super super helpful for us to all hear your perspective so and I'm back I just wanted to show you how it looked I've had this foundation on for just over 12 hours I did like I said uh, do a touch-up oops here comes Rue um, I did uh, kind of wipe away the concealer under my eyes I added some bronzer oh I just got home. Uh, different lipstick, things like that, but I didn't like touch up my face makeup at all. I added a little more powder, uh, setting spray, but I wanted to show you how impressed I am and how good it looks uh, after the full 12 hours. So highly, highly recommend this foundation, but I'm ready to wash it off. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Samantha Jane YT. And I'll see you guys next time.